Good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. There's not a big number of them, but what they make today, they make up for in quality. There's 86 of those first cross shoes. There's June, July 11 drop. There's September short of the one I've got to use. They've got 142. 142. White Suffolk lamps at foot to eight weeks. Eight weeks. They are beautiful long lamps by top brands. A huge percentage. And top use. Richie Proof in the northwest of the state uh, conducted its first sheep sale for two months. Tim Patterson joins me. Tim, um, strange how what a little bit of rain has uh, has done for confidence in the area. Yeah, Murray, it's funny what an inch of rain does. It uh, brings a lot of people a bit of confidence to uh, to buy now. With a little bit of feed coming through and hopefully a bit of sun coming, um, we're, yeah, there's op opportunities and confidence they're definitely to buy. Yeah. yeah, not a big market here today. You started on um, a, a high percentage pen of uh, ewes and lambs, um, uh, crossbred ewes and lambs, young ewes, uh, 276. Um, sounds big money, but um, plenty of value in them the way the mutton market is. When you think about it, yeah, you, you, you change them over and you can see there's definitely... Um, you think the crossbreds are worth the dough, and the lambs are definitely worth worth it as well. But you see a high percentage in our crossbreds um, with their skin in lamb. They're definitely high percentages there, so it's uh, it's good how the rams have worked this year. It's um, in the dry times. Yeah, high percentages in those uh, in those scanned ewes. Uh, the one year olds, one and a half year olds that you sold there, that uh, 186 dollars uh, for four wolves. Yep. Mm, good money. Yeah, well, I thought it was very yeah. It was, very good money, but they're worth it though. They're only one half, um, and they're, yeah, they're very good, very good use though. You can see that finance is still a bit of a problem. They, as you went down and you got into your um, lighter frame sheep with lambs at foot, they uh, might seem to make uh, exceptional money. Yeah, well, I thought there was uh, they made good dough, um, but they're, they're probably once you split them up again, it's, they're, they're, they're still worth it. They're still worth it. Worth what they made. Yeah, had a, a couple of uh, uh, what you call out of the ordinary pens of sheep here today. Some uh, fin crosses and some uh, donny ewes that we don't normally don't see at this uh, market. Both of those um, with lambs in them sell very well. Yeah, well, I thought so. It's, it's, it's like I said, it's funny to um, what uh, rain brings and it's what feed sort of comes with it. So it's uh, no, I thought they made they sold very well. Uh, will you go again in the end of July? Or will you sit back? Um, uh, well, it's hard to say just at the moment. Just with the, with the rain, we'd say that the blokes would try to, uh, farmers would try to keep their sheep, um, just with the sheep they have. But uh, it's funny what things do as we're up in the sky. Yeah, uh, it's, there's no doubt about it that the, the sheep that were here today were the pick of the sheep that's left in the district. Uh, it's almost got to the point with ewes lambing that um, it was repent and sell. Yeah, clients were here that didn't really want to sell. They had to sell. Um, we spoke to them last week with the rain. They said, no, we've still got to go. But, uh, yeah, it was disappointing to see them sell, but uh, they had to.